if you don't know, my name, they call me Hollow Man. You know what I mean? Been around North Philly, every avenue. There was a lot of cats around me that used to rap. Uh, a lot of people know him. A lot of people might don't. Major figures. Uh, Gilly the Kid. You know, they off home base. You know, they used to battle right there on Broad and Airy, um, 33rd and Diamond. You know, me just coming home from school, I used to stop, check them out. You know what I mean? They used to be in they and they bag, man. So, you know, it's always something like, you know, after I come from a battle, I go home and I'm jot something down. I ask my man, yo, how do you think this sound? Uh, spit it to him. Hey, that's hot, man. You know what I mean? You might as well, you should keep going. You know, so that's what pretty much inspired me seeing them guys coming straight home from school. You know what I mean? Then we used to have a little lunch trays, flip them over. My man used to make little beats on the lunch trays and all that. So, you know, at lunch, we used to freestyle and all that. You know what I mean? Everybody used to tell me, yo, man, you nice. You know, you might as well keep going at it. You know what I mean? So, that was like that was like my inspiration. I say like high school, seeing them cats. Seeing cats that I knew from my city, who I see, you know, like I said, in the battle circuit, seeing them on television. You know what I mean? See, when, see you know, like see somebody you know, like, you know, you almost grew up with a few a few steps away from me, a few blocks away from me, to see them on TV or hear them on the radio was like major for me. Like, you know what I mean? It just showed me that it's something that can be, it can be done. Well, my mom always been in my corner. You know what I mean? Um, it was just like this all-star talent search joint. You know what I mean? Back in the day, it's called all-star talent search. And um, I, I, me and a few other cats, I used to write stuff down where we enrolled. And you know, um, one of the one of the uh, one of our one of the contestants was a group called No Question, which was signed to um, Rough Nation, and uh, which was after that. You know, we we competed with them. They won first place. We won second place. You know, I remember my mom. She's, you know, she was in the front row screaming at the top of her lungs. You know, what I'm saying we won the trophy. So she always been in my corner from day one when I first said I wanted to rap. You know, she, her, she was pretty much like, if you want to play ball, go ahead and play ball. You know, if you want to rap, go ahead rap. But just be good at it. I, right now, it's just like, you know, the fans that I accumulated over the years. You know, I've been doing it for like 12 years. A lot of people, like I said, if you don't know me, I battled Eden Ness, you know, back in 2001. You know what I mean? And it was like it was like a real epic battle because a lot of people knew who he was because of making it in a band. Nobody knew who I was. You know what I mean? And I guess, you know, at that time, like a lot of cats was like, oh, man, this guy great just get wiped out and that wasn't the case you know what I mean so you know like f between now between then and now you know I've been doing a lot of YouTube I've been doing a lot of blogging I've been doing a lot of I probably put out I say about like eight mixtapes and just to still get that same love that I used to get then you know there's no change it's like I always hear this a lot um a lot of people fell off but you still you know what I mean? You you get way better than what you was. So that's what keep me inspired. Just just knowing that people see the growth in me. You know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? You know, like a lot of people I lost that that was really in my corner, that was really rooting for me. You know what I'm saying? And you know, um, me being discouraged at that point was like, you know, it's been a long time coming. I want to throw the towel in. You know, a lot of dudes that, that inspired me, that, that that pushed me, is not here no more. You know what I mean? So just to be able to still be here and still have that love is probably one of the, you know, one of the greatest things anybody really can overcome. You know what I mean? Just to go through all them trials, all them little tribulations, you know, ups and downs, family issues, you know, things of that nature, you know, street issues. You know what I mean? You know, um, I fell for two years, you know, fighting a little attempt. You know, attempted murder case, you know, that I had nothing to do with. You know, it took me everything I saved up to get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? So to be able to still come home and stand on my own, too, after that, you know, that was major for me. Like I said, I've been rapping for like 12 years in the midst, and the, the, throughout that time, I had two daughters. You know what I mean? And um, they like 12 and 11 right now. You know what I mean? And to be able to, when I bring them around, Places like, you know, we got the UE, we got the radio station here. And, you know, I travel with them when I go out, go out of town and do shows. I bring them down to the studio with me. When I interact with people in public, they see that, um, you know, a lot of people respect their father for what he do. Just to be able to show them that, you know, when you're good at something, stick with it. You know what I mean? Not just because people love you, just because what you love is what you love to do. You know, just to be able to show them that. You know, I'm successful at that aspect of it. 
I'm, you know, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? You know, the day tomorrow, if I get signed, it's a blessing. If not, it's still a blessing because I was able to, you know, actually show my daughters that, you know, um, anything you set out to do and you really stay grounded in that, it's like, you know, you know, you, 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 you can become successful in that. You know what I'm saying? The same aspect, man. I just want people to remember me for going hard, you know, not stopping, not giving up, um, not, not, not letting, not, not being discouraged because there's so many people that rap nowadays and it's like, it's like almost like a lottery. You know what I mean? Like it's almost like winning the lottery. It's like, you know, you know, you could play, play, play. And, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people that was real good that didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Um, before me. And, you know, it's just, it's easy to get discouraged. It's easy. It's, it's real easy to get discouraged. Dog. You know, like, you know, uh, you know, you got to deal with real life issues. You know, you got to still stay in the studio. You know, it's not it's a nonstop grind. It's like, uh, I got to, I got to write the raps. I got to go lay the raps. I got to get it mixed down. I got a show to do. I got to do that. And then this, in the midst of it, you still got a family. You know what I mean? So, you know, with me, I'm juggling all that right now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, I, I just try not to, I just, because I've been discouraged before. It's nothing like sitting in that cell not knowing when you coming home. You know what I mean? It's nothing like sitting in that cell. It's like you talk to the lawyers and they telling you whatever they can for the little bit of time, you, you know, that, however long you got the interview for. It's like, you know, even when they walk away, it's like, oh, my, you know, you're telling me it's a good thing. And then next week that might change. You know what I mean? It's like you're not knowing. And every time you go to court, it's like, all right, well, you come back. All right, but, uh, you never, never court date postponed. You know what I mean? It's like you're not knowing when you come home. It's like you know you're facing 22 and a half to 45 years, but you don't know when. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I've been discouraged before. So my whole thing is when it's all said and done and I look back, I want people to see I, that I kept going. The Four Horsemen coming soon, man. August the 23rd, uh, me, Reed Dollars, Cree Forge, Chinko the Greek. Um, we're going real hard, a lot of dope production, a lot of great concepts. Um, we're calling it what the streets have been missing because, you know, it's like we just not selling hooks and song and a dance. We really giving up some real, we really dropped some real Jews on there. So, um, the Four Horsemen coming soon, um, sometime in middle of September, I'm dropping Mr. Talk Heavy Part 2. If you ain't got Mr. Talk Heavy Part 1, log on to that piff, live mixtapes, type in my name, Hollow Man, Mr. Talk Heavy. And you can also follow me on Instagram, Mr. Underscore Underscore Talk Heavy. Follow me on Twitter too, HMAPC.